What's going on guys? Jake with Real Legit Fishing here back with another video. And a few months ago I made a video about our new 521 VX Comanche Ranger. We had a few people asking about the new updates that we have put on it. So we're going to start a video from the boat from front to back and I hope you enjoy. So first things first, we swapped out our 24 volt motor guide troll motor for this 112 pound thrust, 36 volt main holder four trucks. We also swapped out our pull rope from the rope to this cable. And on the front, we rigged out our troll motor with a rigid industry light. Now because of the extra power from the troll motor, we put in a cup for troll recessed foot pedal. And then we also added a cool foot onto the foot pedal for those hot summer days when that foot pedal heats up. This plate used to have an old ranch unit in it, so we called Ranger, and they sent us a new plate, and we swapped them out. We mounted our HydroWave A2 speaker on the end of our troll motor, and in this compartment, we mounted our HydroWave controller. Because we fit jigs a lot, we added this jig holder on the inside of the door, so we have easier access to our jigs. We had plenty of rod storage over here in this compartment, so we cut out some of our rod storage in this compartment and used it all for tackle. We also added this cool lure and plier holder to keep all the stuff out of the floor. On the side of the console, we put in a outlet that has a 12 volt hole and two USB ports so we can keep our GoPros that we keep on the dash charging at all times. Also on the side of the gunnel, we put on our current sponsor logos. Here on the dash, we have our HCS7, which used to be an old Lawrence, but we cut it out and put this new one on the dash. And then here on the side, we have our HCS9 and we have two more HCS9s up on the front. All of our units are integrated with this Navionics Platinum chip that has all the lakes over the south. Because of our 36 volt troll motor, we had to swap out three batteries with four and we added a NOCO Genius onboard charger. We also got our new GoPro mount that goes in the navigation light hole where we can get a shot of the whole boat and it has two USB ports so we can keep our GoPro charging. Just recently for Christmas, we got this new engine cover for when we're traveling to keep the bugs and dust off of our engine and we also had to replace our lower unit after we broke it during one of our tournaments. Well thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our boat overview number two and please like and subscribe down below and happy new years to all y'all and I'll see you on the water. Whoa.